What's going on guys? New video working on the Scantic again. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you. Anyway, so where we left off last video, it ran, but I wanted to show you this guys. This is a uh, pretty crazy. There's a part here that I noticed was broken just the other day. Now this is after I started and ran it. And um, it's a good thing I had premix in it. Is this hood gonna stay up or not? What is going on here? Holy jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, after I drove it the other day, uh, I was just doing a quick look around because I had to order a new car boot here. The car boot was uh, ripped. No, the hood didn't stay up. Um, the car boot was ripped, so I ordered a new one. Car boot delete kit. Uh, ordered a new one, and uh, we got a new battery we're going to put in. Um, but I was just looking around the other day, and then I was looking at this oil line, and I went, oh, that looks kind of funny. You see that? focus here but this little oil line here goes to the engine is snapped right off that barb fitting you can see it's snapped there and it's snapped in the line so we were uh, had no oil from the oil pump going to uh to one of the uh cylinders or wherever it goes i didn't actually look on these engines i have i don't know nothing about these five but anyways we had an oil line broken off completely so it's a really good thing that i put premix in this thing because uh, it might have blown up if it wasn't for that premix probably not in that short duration of time but regardless you don't want to run it without <laughs> without oil so um yeah smart on me for once to to run premix so anyways let's go get the, the battery out of the box here add some uh, electrolyte to it and um yeah get that charge get that put in see if it works get that car boot put in oh yeah i bought another bike too in the meantime i have a problem anyways let's get this battery going Okay, so we're gonna toss this battery in here. There's a brand new battery, it just charged up. Um, and then we're gonna throw that car boot in that I just got in the mail. And, uh oh, what's going on here? Oh no, give me a break. Don't tell me it doesn't fit. It's supposed to fit. Oh yeah, no, she's gonna fit. We're gonna do that. As you can see, we've lost any snow that we had so I'm not gonna be driving it today but now I'm gonna be waiting on that oil uh, banjo bolt from the oil pump anyways so doesn't really matter but I'll crank it over really quick with this battery in place to make sure that the starter at least works because I don't know if it does or not all right let's uh, put this thing in here and uh, let's see if it cranks over fingers crossed because I have no idea if the starter is good but uh, we, we, do shoot, we do got battery now. And I got that new car boot on. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> I guess we got to troubleshoot a starter issue now. All right, so I just checked with my meter really quick. And when the key is on the start position, your signal wire here to the starter solenoid is not getting voltage. So we do have 12 from our battery at this post to the starter so we're just going to jump 12 to the signal wire to simulate us turning the key and we'll see if the starter at least bumps so i know the issue is the signal wire is not receiving voltage whether there's a bad relay somewhere else in here i'm not sure but at least we can bump this to see if the starter at least works okay so the starter is in fact good so now we got to figure out why we do not have 12 volts to our signal wire at the starter solenoid when the key is in the on position. So I'm gonna trace this back and maybe there's a relay or something farther back here. There's a red green wire. Okay. All right, we're just running through a wiring diagram here. Apparently it does not go to any other external relay. It runs directly from the starter up to this key switch. I start jiggling this around and uh, I was checking continuity. So from red to red green, which is our wire on our solenoid, red green should go hot when the key is uh, turned on and it changes states of the contacts um, as i started playing with it check this out 
we're golden. We now have electric start. So now all I gotta do is have a quick wait until snow shows up so I can bring this damn thing in the garage. But anyway, once snow shows up and I can drive this in the garage, um, we're gonna get it in there, clean this thing up because as you can tell, she needs a, a good cleaning. There's like literal mold on this thing. Um, but yeah, uh, it might be weeks for me, but it'll be about five seconds for you. So see you when snow gets here. Three weeks later. Yep, we finally got some snow. Look at this. Woo! Been waiting. Let's uh, let's go take this thing for a ride. I think there's only like I mixed in the first video. I think like 15 liters of premix in there, so we don't got much gas. But I want to burn all that premix through. It should help um, run long enough for that pump to prime. Even though I'm pretty sure it's already primed. I already tried to prime it. Um, but regardless, we'll run that when we get really low on gas. At 10 liters of regular gas, so we're gonna strap that in. I'm gonna go get uh, my snowsuit on and stuff, and uh, let's take this thing for a spin, and we'll see uh, we'll see what she does. So I've never driven it yet, just uh, in the yard here. So yeah, let's go see what this thing does. Wish me luck. All right, here we go. Longer than a few minutes later. probably but I'll drive it around for a little bit I did put a mark on the oil jug so we can monitor if the levels going down if I see that level going down I'm gonna top it up with the fresh gas the straight gas and then we'll see how it runs again but for now let's putt around with half throttle and put some miles on it Uh, gonna bring her home here but uh, yeah see you in a minute when I get home 
All right, we're back at the house. Can't keep GoPros alive. I don't know if you guys have bad luck with GoPros, but I put two full fresh batteries in it. I got 10 minutes maybe between the two. Um, so I waited till I got home to hit the brakes. And when I pulled in the driveway, I hit the brakes and sure enough, they stuck again. And then I also noticed one thing. I seen like a couple little drops on the pipe and I went, what's going on there? And then look at this. As soon as I touch this, oh, yeah. Gonna have to <laughs> figure that one out. That's pretty bad. Um, change that line i guess but yeah i think that's it for this video first ride on it went mediocre uh, i should mention as the, the more i drove it uh it got a lot better it was running better um i was only able to get it to like 40 kilometer an hour at first because it didn't want to do anything it was bogging and stuff uh, but the more i drove it it got better i ran the premix out of it i filled it up with a bit of fresh just straight gas that i brought with me and i was actually running like decent at the end so i'm gonna fix that oil line and uh figure out this caliper here and then We'll go from there. All right, it's a couple of weeks or two or three weeks later. Um, as you can see, pretty much lost all the snow again. Um, figured I'd tell you what's going on with this thing. Uh, I started playing with the brakes. Um, I don't think I explained it at the one part of the video when I got stuck in my driveway, the brake caliper seized on. So I backed the pads off just so I could take it for a drive, which is the drive you saw. And then I never touched the brakes until I got home and they seized again. So I unstuck the caliper again. Um, tried to bleed the brakes, they wouldn't bleed. Master cylinder was bad. Brake master cylinder here. Got a used one off a guy. Put it on. Didn't work either. That master cylinder was bad. Got a third master cylinder. That master cylinder was good. Still didn't had trouble bleeding the brakes. The line was bad. So the guy also luckily gave me the line. I replaced the line as well. Um, so now with the third master cylinder and the new line, uh, it does seem to work decently now it's not perfect but it, it works um <laughs> that oil line going to the pump this is a funny one actually i was pretty mad at the time because the sled just keeps doing things to me and let me down um, but that oil line that went here um, was cracked so i had just cut it and put it back on because it did seem pretty malleable it wasn't bad and i parked it <clears throat> in my grass here and i come out a couple days later and i'm like okay i'll change that line now because i had to go pick up some of this line i'm like okay i'll change that line now I pull the line off the pump, and there's no oil coming out of it. I go, uh, what? Like I pull this line right off the pump. Or, sorry, right off the tank. No oil coming out of it. I didn't understand. I open up the lid to the tank here. I look inside, bone dry. What? What happened? Yup, that's what happened. It dumped the entire oil tank on my grass. Wonderful, this sled. Anyways, so then I replace that line, pick up some more oil. I replace both of these lines here coming off the, uh, the banjo bolts going to the engine, so those are brand new as well. Uh, pulled the carb off it, cleaned the carb. Uh, again, really good in the ultrasonic. And uh, now it actually, I took it for one drive and it ran really well. I'm like, hey, there we go, finally, it's good to go. Starting running good now. And then I noticed on my way home from that ride, uh, the speedometer stops working all of a sudden. I don't know why it was working on the ride you saw and it was working at the start of the ride that I took it on. So I started digging into it, to it a little bit. And uh, there's your speedo drive unit down here that goes into your gearbox. I pull that out to check the speedo pin. Uh, speedo pin was broken. So, wonderful. Um, call Skidoo to order that speed, speedo pin. Surprise, surprise, it's discontinued. So, once again, the sled just screws me again. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. That's how it is when you're working on the old stuff. But some things just go together good, you know, and you don't have a ton of problems. And then other things just fight you every single step of the way you know some sleds they just seem to do that to you you know anyways that's it for this video uh scanic's pretty much good to go now but can't drive it waiting on snow um waiting on that speedo pin i found one in finland on ebay some guy that had new old stock so waiting on that i uh, don't know if there will be more videos on this we'll see maybe once it uh once we get some more snow compared to the uh, surprise, surprise after the last ride on the ovation, one ride in, skids all apart, sleds half apart again. But it's just how it is working on sleds, you know. There's just always a problem, but part of the game, man. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Uh, send it to your buddies, and uh, hopefully you have better luck than me this season. Hopefully you got snow, because we don't. But anyways, see you on the next video. Bye. Hey, subscribe to the channel.